Back in Revelstoke, I'm meeting up with Mike Bromberg from Revelstoke Backcountry Guides. Together, we'll be setting out to climb Mount Begbie, one of the many popular alpine climbs in the area. But before heading out, we need to get accustomed to climbing together. So we head to Waterworld, an incredibly scenic rock wall that provides great multi-pitch climbing. Yeah, so Mike and I are just dropping in and really getting into the heart of what we're gonna be doing. We haven't even started climbing yet, but it's already feeling pretty serious up here. Pretty, it's, it's definitely a combination of excitement and nerves. Uh, this is spectacular setting, beautiful place to be, but uh, it's also pretty intense up here. A little, a little scary, seeing Mike just dangling there in free space. As soon as you like are actually like working your feet over that edge and you gotta commit, it's uh, your stomach kind of goes up into your throat a little bit, but as soon as you actually are hanging there, it's just fun. Now the hard stuff begins. We gotta get out of here. It's gonna be great to get to know each other climbing out here. <laughs> right? Like it's the first time we've climbed together. Yeah, this is the best first climb together. I think it's a great climb place to start. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. Right on. I'm so psyched. So this has been a pretty crazy, amazing experience getting to climb here. Uh, so the first couple of routes were a little heady. I even took a fall right off the bat. I was, I don't know, I think just a little bit nervous uh, about climbing here and was, I did try to kind of a dumb move and totally peeled off the rock and fell. But actually that kind of calmed my nerves in a way. And then when it got to the top, Mike's like, hey, uh, I think it's your turn to lead. And I was a little nervous about that, but at the same time, I, I wanted to give myself a challenge. And if he was uh, feeling like he trusted me, uh, then I wanted to jump at it. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, right on. Hell yeah. That was sweet. Next up, Begbie. Oh, that was great. Mike and I have just set off from the trailhead for Begbie, and uh, we got this nice, steady incline pace going up. Apparently this is basically the steepest hike you can do in Revelstoke. Can't wait to get up and camp on the mountain, and uh, hopefully, weather permitting, we'll get the summit. So you know about this stuff, right? This is called Devil's Club. So this stuff is vicious. Um, First Nations in the area use this as a medicinal plant, and actually, um, you basically strip the bark off and then kind of distill it as a tincture. Really? Yeah, so it's it's like heavily guarded, but quite medicinal. It's uh, more of a spiritual benefit. Yeah, should we try some? I think we should later on. Yeah, we'll be, I want to be on Mount Begbie, just like out of my mind on Devil's Club. <laughs> it's so pretty in here. Oh yeah. I love the feeling of getting out of the valley like this and we're starting to just break out of the trees. Oh yeah? Looking across. Yeah, it's opening up just a little bit more. Looks even better up close. Yeah, it feels good up here, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So good. Worth it coming up this high. Yeah. Mike and I just pulled in to camp. Uh, this is a spectacular spot. Super excited to be right here. Looks like the snow probably only just cleared out from this camp spot just a few days ago. Uh, so it's finally, it's opening up, everything's thawing. And uh, tomorrow morning, early, 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 Alpine start style. Uh, we're gonna be making our way up that, and climbing up the ridge to the summit of Begbie. Yes, awesome. Camp food, when done right, can be one of the greatest joys of the outdoor experience. Fortunately for both Mike and I, I'm not the one doing the cooking. We're being spoiled on this adventure because Shasta from Flexpeditions has joined the trip and she is treating us to some gourmet backcountry meals. slept out last night. It's actually a really amazing night, despite the fact that it was very short. But there was the Milky Way floating overhead all night. 
just a few minutes ago, the sun just cracked the horizon and that was our alarm clock for getting up to the summit. So I think we got some tea starting to bubble away and uh, we'll get the day started. So you can just kind of let the rope pan out and the way that I like to see it moving across the snow is that it's just like kind of just a little just bit of barely slack. touching, yeah, yep. just okay. barely touching. Perfect. Now's where it really gets exciting. Oh yeah, it's like a line in the sky, man. Mountaineering is serious business, and even though Begbie is not one of the world's most challenging climbs, it still poses very real risks. And I'm thankful to be able to lean on Mike's experience. His skills and leadership allow me to push through my comfort zone as we navigate the more technical and exposed sections. It's been a remarkable climb and an ideal way to conclude an unforgettable mountain adventure in Revelstoke. Woo! Well, this feels good. Oh yeah, nailed it. Nice work, Austin, awesome, man. So I'm here with my Canadian brother here on Canada Day, and we thought it'd be fitting that in order to celebrate, we would claim Mount Begbie for Canada. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Is, do you need to plant the flag, or is it okay that uh, I think it's okay. as an American? I, I, I do you can, give me permission? Yes, I do. I can designate you. Awesome. 